At first glance, it's just a dull, gray rock, uneven, dusty, and utterly forgettable. You might toss it aside without a second thought, but the moment you crack it open, something extraordinary happens. Glints of fiery red, crystalline blues, flashes of iridescent greens. It's not just a rock anymore. It's a hidden world, a natural masterpiece sculpted over millions of years beneath the Earth's surface. This is the story of how some of Earth's most precious and rare gemstones are born from seemingly boring stones that hide mesmerizing secrets inside. Let's journey into the heart of the Earth to discover how these boring rocks transform into dazzling gems. No legends, no myths, just true geology and natural science. Gemstones are minerals, or sometimes rocks or organic materials, that form under extreme pressure, heat, or geological conditions. Their beauty doesn't come from magic, but from chemistry, crystallography, and time. Each gemstone forms when specific elements and conditions come together deep underground. Over thousands, even millions of years, these forces produce stunning internal structures that reflect light, absorb color, and create brilliance. So when you hold a raw gemstone, you're holding geological history, compressed, crystallized, and frozen in time. But what makes them so rare and valuable? It all comes down to scarcity, purity, structure, and what it takes to bring them to the surface. Now let's break open some of these unassuming rocks, literally, and explore what lies within. 1. Garnet the fire inside the rock. Garnets may appear as dark brown lumps embedded in host rock, but break them open and you'll reveal fiery reds, oranges, even greens. Garnet forms under high pressure and temperature conditions. It grows in metamorphic rocks, stones that have been changed by heat and stress. As layers of rock compress over time, garnet crystals grow slowly often hidden deep inside schists or gneisses. While many garnets look dull on the surface, the interiors are glassy and sharp. Some varieties even change color depending on the light source, a rare optical effect caused by trace elements like vanadium or chromium. You'd never guess this level of beauty hides inside such a rough stone. That's the magic of mineral transformation. Two geodes nature's crystal surprise at first glance a geode looks like a rounded ugly gray egg but crack it open and inside an explosion of sparkling quartz crystals geodes form when mineral rich water fills hollow cavities inside volcanic or sedimentary rock over time the water evaporates leaving behind mineral deposits that slowly crystallize the result is a hollow chamber lined with pointed, shiny crystals. The outer shell remains unassuming until it's broken. Quartz, amethyst, calcite, and even agate can line the insides, depending on the minerals involved. No two geodes are ever the same. That randomness is part of what makes them scientifically fascinating and visually unforgettable. Three. Opals, rainbows hidden in stone. You wouldn't expect a rainbow to live inside a rock, but opals defy expectations. At first, raw opals often look like cloudy, chalky stones. But when light hits them at the right angle, internal fire flashes to life. Greens, purples, blues, and reds shimmer and dance. This optical phenomenon is called play of color. And it happens because opal is made of tiny spheres of hydrated silica. These spheres are arranged in a tight, grid-like pattern. When light passes through them, it diffracts, splitting into colors. This precise structure is rare in nature, and opals only form under very specific conditions. Often, silica-rich water seeps into cracks and voids in rocks. 
Over time, the water evaporates and the silica hardens layer by layer. From the outside, there's no way to tell what kind of fire lives within until you break it open. 4. Tourmaline, the electric gemstone. Tourmaline often grows as long, dark rods embedded in igneous or metamorphic rocks. But when exposed, it reveals brilliant pinks, blues, greens, even bicolored and tricolored crystals. Its formation is complex. Tourmaline is a boron silicate mineral that develops in high temperature hydrothermal veins. As mineral rich fluids move through cracks in the earth, they deposit atoms that slowly grow into multicolored crystals. The variety of colors comes from trace elements iron, lithium, manganese, and more. Different concentrations during crystal growth cause the stunning variety seen in raw tourmaline. Break open the host rock and you may find what looks like glassy blades frozen in motion. Nature's crystal craftsmanship at its finest. 5. Peridot, Gem of the Mantle Most gemstones form in the crust, but not peridot. This gem comes from the Earth's upper mantle, the hot pressurized layer beneath the crust. It's one of the few gemstones that form directly in magma. As molten rock rises to the surface, peridot can crystallize inside igneous rocks like basalt. On the outside, peridot often appears trapped in dark, dense host stones. But when split open, these rocks reveal olive green, transparent crystals with a vitreous sheen. What's more fascinating? Peridot is also found in meteorites, linking it to the cosmos. This green gem isn't just rare, it's extraterrestrial. 6. Corundum, sapphires and rubies in disguise. You might not recognize corundum when it's rough. It can look like a dull, grayish crystal stuck in rock. But under the right conditions, Corundum becomes either sapphire or ruby. Scientifically, both sapphire and ruby are the same mineral. Corundum. The difference? Trace elements. Chromium gives ruby its red. Iron and titanium yield blue sapphires. Without these impurities, corundum is colorless. Corundum forms under intense heat and pressure, often in metamorphic environments. It's incredibly hard, second only to diamond, and resists weathering, which is why it's often found embedded deep within ancient rock layers. Crack open the right rock, and you could reveal a blazing red ruby or a deep blue sapphire hidden in plain sight. 7. Beryl The birthplace of emeralds and aquamarines Beryl is another mineral with multiple identities. Depending on its chemical impurities, it can become emerald, green, aquamarine, blue, morganite, pink, or heliodor, yellow. Beryl crystals grow inside pegmatites, coarse-grained igneous rocks formed from late-stage magma. As these rocks cool slowly, large mineral crystals have time to develop. But beryl doesn't shout its beauty. In the raw, it can look like a cloudy greenish rod stuck in granite. Break it open, and its hexagonal crystal structure becomes obvious, glassy, transparent, and vivid. The greens of emerald are caused by chromium or vanadium. The pale blue of aquamarine comes from iron. Nature designs the palette. Geology provides the canvas. 8. Zircon, the ancient timekeeper. Zircon might look like an unremarkable brown or reddish stone, but it's one of the oldest minerals on Earth, some over 4 billion years old. Zircon forms in igneous rocks and can survive multiple metamorphic and sedimentary cycles, making it a geological time capsule. Scientists use Zircon to date Earth's oldest crustal rocks, but beyond its scientific value, Zircon can also be beautiful. When broken open and properly cut, it displays diamond-like brilliance with strong fire and dispersion. From dull pebble to radiant gem, 
Zircon reminds us that age is just the beginning. 9. Hiddenite, Andalusite, and other rare beauties. There are dozens of other gemstones that hide in plain sight. Hiddenite, a pale green variety of spodumen that can look like nothing special until it's lit properly and reveals a glassy, ethereal glow. Andalusite exhibits pleochroism, meaning it shows different colors when viewed from different angles. A dull brown rock on the outside becomes a multicolored gem inside. Chrysoberyl sometimes forms cat's eye structures with internal inclusions that reflect light in a thin line. Spinel often mistaken for ruby, forms perfect octahedrons embedded in host rock. Dull on the surface, brilliant within. All of these form under specific thermodynamic conditions, where heat, pressure, and chemistry align over time. Why do these gems stay hidden so long? Because most are surrounded by host rock that's hard, opaque, and visually unappealing. Gemstones form in veins, pockets, or nodules deep underground. Erosion, tectonic activity, or mining eventually brings them closer to the surface. But even then, they're rarely obvious. Sometimes a hint of color, a crystal face, or a heavier weight gives them away. But more often it takes cutting, cracking, or polishing to reveal what's inside. And even then, only trained eyes know what to look for. Nature doesn't flaunt its treasures. It conceals them. The world's most beautiful gems hide inside its plainest rocks. That's the wonder of geology. Time, pressure, heat, and chemistry conspire beneath our feet, creating breathtaking crystals inside dull stones. And when you break one open, you're not just revealing color. You're uncovering ancient history, atomic precision, and the extraordinary patience of nature. So next time you stumble across a boring rock, remember, beauty doesn't always announce itself. Sometimes you have to break it open to see the truth inside. If you enjoyed this journey into Earth's hidden treasures, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. There's a world of color, crystal, and scientific wonder buried just beneath the surface, and we've only just begun to explore it. Stay curious, stay grounded, and never stop breaking open the ordinary.